President Muhammad Buhari is now faced with the burden of uh, appointing a new chief of staff to fill the vacuum left in the wake of the death of Mr. Abba Kiari. The presidential task force on COVID-19 apologizes for violating social distancing rules at the barrier of the chief of staff to the president. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. This is Politics Today live on Channel Television. I'm Sean Joaquin Baloye in Lagos. You've been watching the presidential talks force on COVID-19 daily briefing from Abuja. And we are monitoring the government's effort and what is being done to save lives in these very interesting times. Let's uh, give you some update now. The confirmed cases in Nigeria now stands at 627 after 86 new cases of COVID-19 was confirmed. The new cases are 70 in Lagos. Got seven in FCT, three in Katsina, three in Akwaibom, one in Jigawa State, and one in Bochi, one in Burnum. 170 people are now discharged, and 21 people are now dead from that co co coronavirus. And members of the presidential task force on COVID-19 have apologized for the violations of the social distancing rules at the barrier of the late chief of staff, Mr. Abba Kerry. Take a listen to uh, the chairman of uh, the national coordinator of the presidential task force. Um, as stated by the chair of the PTF, we would like to acknowledge and apologize for the mistakes that were made regarding the burial of the late Chief of Staff. We realize that crowd control failed. We have learned from this and will ensure future events are adequately regulated and follow the task force protocols. The Gudu symmetry has since been decontaminated. The personal protective equipment discarded at the site has been decontaminated, burned, and discarded according to NCDC guidelines. I would like to further clarify uh, the issue of uh, COVID-19 and uh, burial processes. Contrary to what is on social media, the late Chief of Staff's body was properly prepared for burial according to NCDC guidelines and the Islamic faith. So we have some more information for you on our political roundup. Take a listen. The secretary to the government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, is appealing to religious leaders in Nigeria to look to God for help, asking for his intervention as the country battles COVID-19. The SGF made the call when the Anglican primate led the delegation on a solidarity visit to the chairman of the presidential task force on COVID-19 in Abuja. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mohamed Nano, has announced plans by the federal government to ensure the transportation of food and agricultural input during the period of lockdown over COVID-19. Well, now, let's get uh, the conversation for tonight's uh, program started. A huge vacuum has been created in the presidential villa after President, President Buhari's chief of staff and his strong ally, Mr. Abba Kiari, died from complications of coronavirus. He has been buried. But the burden of appointing a new chief of staff is now a big deal at the presidential villa, not only because of the death of the chief of staff, but the importance of the role of that office. Don't forget, at a point in time, the president said all communications from the minister should be passed to the office of the chief of staff. So it's a big deal. So who then is going to be the next chief of staff? The burden and the task of appointing a new one is on the present. Tonight we shall be dissecting the role of the chief of, task, uh, chief of staff and the task before President Buhari. Let's go to Abuja, you know, now where I'm now being joined by a political analyst, Mr. Judy Ojo. Thank you so much, Mr. Ojo, for coming on tonight. Just how important is the role of a chief of staff? Uh, a lot of the times they are uh, sometimes seen but uh, hardly heard. 
Well, um, the role of chief of staff, um, uh, there is, incidentally, there was a very important, very elucidating uh, article by uh, Dr. Bada Milafia in the Punch of Today, talking about the uh, what the chief of staff does, and uh, he was able to let us know that it's, it's a tradition from U.S. Um, and uh, we started under Franklin Roosevelt in 1939 and then get copied uh, under the Fourth Republic by uh, former President Olusha Gwambasanjo, who appointed uh, Major General uh, Adam, uh, Abdullahi, Mohammed Abdullahi, as his chief of staff, a tradition that was discontinued by the uh, his successor, that's uh, President Umaru Musaya Adwa, and later picked up again by uh, the former president, good luck, Jonathan, who appointed uh, initially uh, Michael Gadume, the former deputy governor of uh, Edo State, before later on uh, appointing Jonas uh, Arubofa. Um, the bottom line is that the chief of staff, the role expected of them is that of a, uh, a, 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 a somebody to, like a clearinghouse, uh, the administrator or the chief manager of the president's uh, itinerary, and also a liaison between the cabinet as well as uh, the, uh, the president, doing all the uh, um, chores that is expected managing the staff of the presidency, uh, while the uh, secretary of the federal government is uh, serves the entire uh, country, so to speak. The chief of staff uh, manages the affairs of the president and quite a number of things are under him. Although the immediate past uh, chief of staff, uh, Mala Abakari, uh, allegedly was very powerful because of uh, the latitude that was allowed him. It was as if we never had a chief of staff proud to his coming on, st on stage, which is similar to what happened uh, in NAVDAC before the advent of uh, Professor uh, the late Minister of uh, Information, Professor Dora Akunili. You wonder whether there was NAVDAG before she assumed the DG of that organization. But it has been there. So it depends on the persona of each of the person that was appointed as uh, the chief of staff. So uh, invariably, it, it, it depends also on the principal. How much latitude do you want to, uh, to, to, to give to, to the person that you have appointed. Uh, we recall that the president, after his inauguration for the second time, actually said that no minister should come directly to him, but should channel whatever request to see him through the uh, chief of staff, which then means that you cannot see the president, you can't walk in to see the president unless you clear with the chief of staff who will book your appointment and ensure that uh, you, you, you are able to see the president within the available so, uh, time space. Mi, 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 that Mr. Ojo now. Um, that, that can be done. Yeah, so Mr. Ojo, you, you've analyzed the role of the chief of staff. Considering Mr. Abakiari, uh, someone who graduated from Cambridge, had a uh, fourth degree in sociology, went to Cambridge to study law, master's in, uh, also in law, and also had uh, 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 certificates from Harvard, that kind of uh, personality uh, being lost in the presidency as a chief of staff, how difficult will it be for the president, uh, considering the relationship also that they had, uh, will, for him to get someone also of that, uh, that stature and uh, that caliber? What, uh, Sean, uh, the, the truth about life is that uh, you, there is no one that's indispensable. Uh, we do know that before his uh, untimely demise on last Friday, uh, the chief of staff to the president, Malala Bakari, uh, taking it, uh, was hospitalized for over a month before he, before he eventually gave up the ghost last Friday. So, I mean, the, the act of governance hasn't stopped uh, since, since he took it. The bottom line is that the president would most likely take his time, weigh his options, and look at somebody that as very close to the attributes or the, uh, the 
the, the skills that uh, Mala uh, Abakiari has. And they are not in short supply. Uh, of course, newspapers have been doing a lot of permutations about possible replacement, people who they think are close to the brain. But it, you see, the position of chief of staff goes beyond uh, being loyal to your principal. It comes with a lot of skills, and it's, it's not a job for somebody who is not uh, healthy. You have to be healthy because it's a 24 7 work. Uh, you, you, you hardly will have to sleep because there will be several communications that needs to be treated that you need to help the president organize his days uh, from the security briefing down to his itinerary for every day, uh, including his official trips, when and how to meet uh, foreign dignitaries, how much time is going to be spent with each person. So it's, 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 a, it's, a, hell, it's a hell of a job that needs a lot of uh, mental alertness. You need to be healthy. You need to be articulate. You need to also be skillful. You need to be resourceful. You need to be diplomatic. You need to be uh, somebody who also is very skilled in administration. So isn't it, those, those attributes, as so, many as they, yeah, they have, so, does not mean that no one else possesses those. All right. There are many people, and the president just need to to think uh, to spread his uh, tentacles wide in search of credible people. And for me, the loyalty of whoever is the chief of staff, beyond being that to the president, should be to the country. You All right. So, Mr. Mr. Jiri Ojo, let, let's uh, uh, quickly, for, for, sorry, apologies, let's quickly bring in uh, another view into the conversation. I'm now being joined by uh, a former minority leader in the House of Representatives, Honorable Farouk Adamu Aliyu, who joins us from Kano. Thank you so much, uh, Honorable Aliyu. How uh, easy or difficult will it be for the president uh, to get a new chief of staff and the role for you uh, what do you think the task uh, in front of the president will look like? Mr. Farouk Adamwali, you former minority leader of the House of Representatives and APC chieftain. Thank you so much for your thought tonight. And also, Mr. Jide Ojo, thank you so much for your thought tonight. An abridged version of the program uh, due to our coverage of the PTF uh, briefing on COVID-19. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'm Shion Wakimale. Bye-bye.